Imagine Kelly reveals what she did for Fox News execs at audition, I am still humiliated that I did it. NBC's Imagine Kelly revealed a 13-year-old humiliation Thursday as she talked about sexual harassment in the workplace. The former Fox News host, speaking on her NBC show, Today with Imagine Kelly, explained one facet of her 2004 interview to be hired by the network, a part that appeared to make her emotional over a decade later. When I started at Fox News, I was 32, I had practiced law for 10 years already. I was asked to do the twirl and I did it, Kelly said. I am still humiliated by that, she said. Humiliated that I did it. I felt degraded in the moment. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it is degrading, and in the moment, you don't know what to do, she said. She also talked about her thoughts as the men interviewing her asked her to twirl around for them as part of her interview. You think, I don't want my relationship to fall apart. In my business, it's a visual business. I'm not sure if it's inappropriate, she explained. You know it is on some level, she added. You can see her comments here. Kelly's show Thursday also featured two women who said they were harassed while working on Capitol Hill. Attorney Rebecca Weir, who formerly worked for former Representative Gary Miller, Republican California, recalled a moment when she was physically evaluated by Miller as part of her interview. As I got up to leave, he stopped me and said my God, Rebecca. You just look stunning, just amazing today. Really great. Would you mind just twirling for me? And I was stunned, Weir said. I was 22 years old. I was young. I was inexperienced and I frankly didn't have the tools at the time to be able to respond in the way I probably would now so I complied, she said. It was gutting, I felt like a prostitute, like he was undressing me with his eyes. I felt dirty, she said. But at the same time, it was also just part of the job. My situation, that feeling and those types of situations are not unique on the Hill. Miller's wife, Kathy, denied the accusation. Catherine Sitchie, who worked for former Senator Tim Johnson, RSD, said her supervisor called her hot. When she complained the Johnson's chief of staff at the time, nothing was done, she said. Kelly offered a bit of caution to men who ever want to say something nice to a female co-worker about her appearance. If you want to pay a compliment to a woman in the office about how she looks, already you are in dicey territory, but, you look nice, is always, I feel like that, is, solid. You cross over into hot, less solid, less solid. Right? She said. Kelly has said that women facing sexual harassment often lack the power to defy their tormentors. It's disgusting, it's dejecting, it's maddening and so now you have to ask yourself what you're going to do about it, she said. Are you going to reject this man, upon whom your very future at the company in my case depends? and in all likelihood in the industry? In my case, and in the Harvey Weinstein victims' cases, their influence is beyond the company. It's industry-wide. If they want to sink you, she said, you will be sunk. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. Comment below.